it on? Hi, this is Nancy with On Point TV. Today our episodes, which normally our episodes come out on Thursday on our YouTube channel, On Point-TV, but today instead we're going to do a Facebook Live. When we recorded the New York Beauty Sessions that are coming up, I realized that I talk a lot about electric quilt in those episodes, saying how much of the designs I actually do on electric quilt. So I thought maybe it'd be fun before we actually show you the process of making the quilts that I'm going to show you how to do some simple New York beauty designing and how to print the templates on electric quilt. So we're going to bring the camera in here. We're going to try and find the perfect position so that you can see the computer screen. All right. I think we can see it pretty good there. It's not really tipped on my end, but we'll be okay. So I'm just going to talk you through the process. This is the opening page of Electric Quilt. And like I said um, a couple days ago, this is EQ8. I want to show you first the New York Beauty um, Simple Quilts that they give you. So here is New York Beauty Simple Quilts. And here's one of the designs. I'm going to click OK. And this is the quilt I just want to kind of show you a couple of things with. I'm going to edit it. Now I can see all of the blocks that are within this quilt. I want to print one of these. So I've chosen this top left-hand block. And with the New York Beauty, there's a lot of paper, piece, paper piecing. And that is called foundation. So over here on the left, I'm going to choose foundation. So first I selected the block. Now I'm going to go to foundation. Now, I'm not going to show you the printout of this, but what I do want to show you is this corner. Do you see these corners? With If I chose to make this block, this corner would be have to be so perfectly pieced that I find that almost impossible to actually come out really nice. So when I am showing you how to do these designs, I'm going to show you that I actually make my curved piece start about a half inch to a half inch. So this is one that comes from EQ. You could edit this to move that in if you chose to, but we're going to just start from the beginning. So we're going to close this out and we're going to go up to a new quilt. And I'm going to just choose a horizontal setting. That'll be fine. Oops, I jiggled it a little bit. Now I'm going to go and find some blocks. So I'm going to go to my block library, which you can't quite see that. It's just out of frame up here on the top. I'm going to go to my library's block library. From here, I can do a couple of different things. I'm going to come down here. Do you see there? Search. I'm going to search a note, note card, and I'm going to type in New York Beauty. And enter. Right now it is searching for, it found five New York Beauty blocks that are already designed in EQ. I'm gonna choose this rather simple one up here in the top and we are going to put that into our sketchbook. So this button up here puts it to your sketchbook. It's kind of like tearing it out of a magazine and putting it in a special file just for yourself. Now I'm gonna go to my sketchbook. So over here on the left-hand side, there's a little book with a pair of glasses. I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna find my blocks. Now this is the block that I just added to this entire um, file. I'm going to edit that block. I want you to see again, look at how they have this curve coming all the way to the bottom. Can you see that? Let's zoom in. All the way to the bottom. That would be so unbelievably difficult to piece. So I'm going to change it. I'm going to pick that arch and I'm going to delete it using the keypad just hit delete. Now I don't have any arc at all. I could keep this block just like this. This block, this distance from here to here is about an inch and a half. Or I could add a new one. So now I'm going to add a curve using the arc tool. Whoops. Let's do that again. Try that again. Going to grab a curve and I'm going to show you a little bit more how to do this when I'm not editing this block. And add that. Now I have changed that block just a smidge but enough that this little corner and this little corner are not so close to the edge of the block that when it came time to piece it, I'd be in some mighty big trouble trying to piece it perfectly. 
Now I want to show you drawing a brand new block. Let's say that you want to start from the very beginning. You're ready to do your New York Beauty quilt and you want to start with your very own block. Up here on the left hand corner, let's bring the camera up a little bit. See that one there? It says new block. We are going to click on that to bring a new block. It's going to be a brand new palette new block and I want this to be an easy draw block. This poly draw is something I just learned last weekend with Barb Black on how to do curved um, edged quilts. Very, very cool. That's for a whole nother day. But for now, we're going to do an easy draw block. Um, nope, I don't want to save that one. This is going to give me a totally blank palette. I am going to change the size of my block. I'm going to change it to nine inches. Now, keep in mind, I could change that later. Um, by adjusting the layout of my quilt. But for now, I'm gonna make it a nine inch block. And because I want to do some designing within here, I want these horizontal snaps. Let me take you to there. I'm gonna make those horizontal snaps. My preference is whatever the size block I'm designing is to multiply that times four. So for my snaps, nine times four is 36. My snaps for horizontal is 36, my snaps for vertical are 36, and my grid is going to be 9 by 9. Now all these little grids line up perfectly. The reason I'm choosing a 9-inch block, I'll explain that a little later, but when it comes to the printing, it means that you're going to be able to print your paper piecing sections all on one sheet of paper, and that's just kind of helpful. So I'm going to start by drawing an arc. You know, I like to have mine come in a little bit, so I'm going to come in one inch, and I'm going to draw this arc, and I'm going to drag it up so it's from 8 to 8, and just leave it there. Now I'm going to draw a next arc. Now this one I'm going to start it at 4.5, and go all the way up to four and a half. Now I've got two beautiful arcs and I'm gonna add one more. I like that little inside arc. I'm gonna leave mine solid this time, but there you go. There's the basis for the New York Beauty. But with the New York Beauty, you've gotta get those little lines, those points going in and out, in and out. And if you just try to put a line in now, it's gonna snap to really weird places. This particular, doing this type of um, designing with the easy draw is gonna snap. The lines you draw are gonna snap from one little spot to another little spot. So we need to create those little nodule things, these little snapping nodes onto this angle. So I'm gonna get rid of those two that I just did. I'm going to pick this outside angle and now I'm going to edit it. So I'm coming up here to the left-hand side. I'm gonna edit it. Now that brings up this segment. So I'm gonna move the camera again. I always want you to be prepared. I don't want you to be jumping around. So see that little partition segment and stagger segment? That is gonna create those little nodes on the angle. So here we go. I've picked my angle. Now I'm gonna edit it. So I've got these partitions. I am going to partition the top one by, I'm gonna say seven. No, I'm gonna go with six. And I'm gonna apply it, whoops, edit there. I'm gonna apply it so that now this has six little dots. Do you see it just created those little dots? The outside ring you partition, and I say that because the inside ring you're going to stagger. So partition means evenly spaced. So from this to the dot is the same, from the dot to the dot is the same, from the dot to the dot is the same. Staggering means that it's going to do a half space first, then a full space, then a full space, Oh my goodness, you know what? I think I just did that backwards. Okay, we're gonna control Z for backup, 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 backup. There, this one, the top one, you wanna stagger. So it's a half space, then a full space, full space, full space, and ends with a half space. The inside ring is the one that you partition. So I'm gonna pick that and partition it. There, that's better. Whoops, go back to this one and stagger it. There, oh no, not that. All right, so now I have the little nodules or the little nodes is what they call them. Ooh, you can see them really clearly now. Now when I go to draw my lines, I can draw a line from this dot to this dot, from this dot to this dot, and I'll be able to fill those lines in. So the inside ring is partitioned, the outside ring is staggered. A couple more drawings. 
I've got my six little guys. There. Now that I've got it drawn, I want to color it. So I'm going to pop up here to the top. That's going to give me a palette of colors, and I'm just going to put some in there that I think are fun just for today. Click, click, click. Now there are, I don't know, 600 colors, at least minimum, already in EQ. You can download your own designs. You can get free designs from them. The choices for fabric is absolutely endless. So there is my beautiful New York Beauty block. Now I'm going to save it. So all the way over here to the left-hand side is a little click. I've saved it. I'm going to do that to New York. Oh, I've got another one. Okay, let's say Live. New York Live. Ooh, that's a nice name. All right, so there's my block. Now I'm going to go back to my quilt work table. There's my little layout. And I'm going to design with my block tool. He's, these are all the blocks that were within the EQ already. This is the one that I just designed. There's all my blocks. Once I have them there, I can do anything to them. I can rotate them around. I can play with them. How cool is this? But I spoke earlier about when you're designing IQ, EQ, you cannot call that good enough. You have to actually make the blocks. So let me show you how to print these out. So I'm going to go now to print and export, which is the last one here. I'm going to select one of those blocks. And you know what? I'm going to change the size in my layout. I did not change the size of my block. I told you earlier I wanted nine inch blocks. I could make them 12, but now I want them nine. There's my quilt. Now when I click on that to print it, I wanna come over here. Now there's foundation piecing, templates, and rotary cutting. The main basis of New York Beauties is foundation piecing these points. So with the clicked, it's highlighting, and I can go to foundation piecing. Now check this out. There's my design, all right? I'm gonna go up here on the top section, and I'm gonna now number it the way I wanna piece it. So with a paper piecing, you start with, start all over, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. That is my paper piecing section. I'm gonna group those all together. All right. The other pieces, these quarter circles and such, these will actually be template cut. So this is all I need for now. So now I'm gonna preview what I have. There's my paper piecing section. Now I can take it and move this in just a little bit down here because I wanna get it all onto one sheet of paper. Rotate it around. There. I can get this pretty much I wish I could go backwards. Let's do it one more time. There. I can get it all on one sheet with that little bit sticking out. I could do it on two sheets and then play with it a little bit more on the copier if you print it like this first. But now you see that now you've got this. Now you can do the paper piecing. So next week our episode is going to be um, showing you some quilts and then the next week I'll be showing you how to paper piece those. So now I'm going to close this because we've got our paper piecing section, but now we also need our templates for our outside. So again, I'm going to select the block. It highlights it and I'm going to go to templates. Now I'm going to do preview. So I do want it to print with the seam allowances. So I do have that clicked and I do not do not need a um, block key. So let me show you real quick what I mean by that. If I click it on large, do you see over here I actually have the layout for it? I don't need that. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to save some paper and I do not want any um, block key. So I'm going to get rid of that. So now when we see it, here's our templates with their little quarter inch seam allowance but we don't need these points. These points are what we're paper piecing. So I'm gonna click on them and delete them. As I click on them, they turn red and I'm using the delete button on my keyboard. I'm getting rid of all the pointed ones. And that leaves me with only the large background pieces. So these, I can take this and move it over here. I'm gonna save some paper. I'm gonna take this arch, move it over here, and this arch move it over here. So now those are the paper piecing sections, the ones that I'll actually cut out with freezer paper. So I'm going to close that. And so you could print those directly onto freezer paper, or you can print them onto paper and then trace them onto freezer paper. That's kind of up to you. All right. So there you have it. There is the basics 
for doing a New York beauty block on EQ. So Bill's going to grab the camera. Next week, our um, on point video will be about a quilt show. So I'm going to show you lots of different quilts, lots of different things I've designed with, designed with EQ and New York Beauty. I'm going to show you a quilt that I've done with custom sets, which takes those New York Beauties and puts them all in wonky shapes. It's really, really fun. So I hope that you like this video. This video will be on our YouTube channel. So if you want to watch it again, when we start going through the series, so you can figure out how to design your own, go to our YouTube channel, which is onpoint-tv.com. Please share our videos with other people. Oh, and I was mentioned, wanted to mention too, too. On our On Point channel, the YouTube channel, we have over 152 videos. Lots of different techniques and tips for beginners and advanced applique, paper piecing, triangles, a lot of different things for you to see. So if you like these videos or if you have a quilting friend that you think needs to have um, a little bit more instruction, please share our channel, On Point-TV. Have a great day.